headed to get some tacos. Taco Saturday. Oh, we're in Georgetown. <laughs> we're in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. About to check out some tacos from Chaia. Chaia. What, what does it mean? I don't know. We'll find out. You did it. Your treat, right? Chaia taco. <gasps> From farm to taco. Taco. Ooh, so excited. Want to go in? Come on. We'll take one of everything. here we have the sweet potato taco the cabbage taco and the roasted acorn squash taco that is the taco trio numero uno okay ready for number two yeah. okay. okay what do we have here john aka jonas we have the trio of mushroom taco kale and potato and lastly egg and bean y'all see that all right. Oh yeah. Uh oh. My favorite order, the enchiladas that I had the idea of getting. <laughs> All right. Ooh wee. So happy enchiladas. I'm so happy I got to get that. Yeah. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> My idea. Ooh wee. I remember they brought those out the oven. The restaurant nachos itself. these are the sweet potato nachos and we love the uh packaging well you know this one is tin but the other ones are good well yeah, yeah. they're better than that plastic um round bowls that a lot of places give you oh okay aka the black places <laughs> remember we went to that well, it was first when we was getting some some food from these um, some of the Ethiopian spots, mm. and they was Black like, places. yeah, <laughs> yeah, those places uh, which just seemed like they was cheap, kind of cheat you, you know. And then it nothing ever like holds up in those ca containers. Do better, y'all. Do better. <laughs> okay. We're and just going to try the tacos and give our opinion at the end not on like come dine with me we'll give a total score out of 10 out of 10 so i'm gonna start with the egg egg and black bean right yeah you go for it i'll hold it because it's like it just turned lunchtime we're in brunch time right now nice looking taco i mean for the east coast the shade <laughs> everything they make is in house including their tortillas Mm. And they are gluten-free because mm. they're made with corn. 
Got a Come on. piece of cheese or probably jewel <laughs> This is good. Is it? Um eggs, black bean, cilantro. I love cilantro. Got some cheese and some kind of sauce. I don't know, but you wanna taste it? Yeah. Like you can. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think this is a winner. That's all you meant. Let me kill it. Mm -hmm. And the corn tacos have to be on a corn tortilla. Let's bite. Argue with me about it. Mm. It tastes better. On corn. I would co-sign that. Wow, so we have so far one out of six winner. So what we did basically is they have six tacos. We have one of our one of each one of their tacos. So because it's a vegetarian and vegan place, we could basically get away with eating everything on the menu and we took advantage of that. Um so we have five more to go through. And they also have seasonal tacos, which we did not partake in. So if you make your way there, in addition to the six that are um, that are staples on the menu itself, they always do seasonal. So something to look forward to. Always a reason to go back. Always. Always a reason to go back. Should Can't I? go wrong with tacos. Let's see, what's this one here? This one here is the kale and sweet potato. All right, kale and sweet potato. Shall I? You have the first bite. Mmm. Okay. Show the people the, the taco. Mmm. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> you making good sounds like it's good. Oh. It's a little bit spicy. Fresh because there's like a cilantro sauce. Mm. The pickled onions. And it is not sweet potatoes, it's potatoes, this one. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like making home fries mm. and putting them in a taco. Mm -hmm. With some the sourness from the uh, from the pickled onions. Mm -hmm. And the potatoes mm -hmm. are cooked to perfection mm -hmm. with the skin on it. Loves the mm. potato. I like uh, I like how they season that potato. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And just as we got there, it was getting busy. Yeah, that place is all like I never see that place really empty. Like there's always traffic in there. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> this is good. Mm -hmm. There's some cheese on here too, right? Mm-hmm. This one is really, really nice. Yeah. Wow. And I like the decor in there. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Yeah. Um, simple. I like the I like the menu. It's really simple. It's right. like this is what we have. It's not pages and pages and like you get like analysis paralysis. Right. <clears throat> because it's not overwhelming. Also for them, they get to specialize in what they do and they get to execute it really well. At least that's always been how I've perceived it, that you're like jack of all trades, master of none, or you have a smaller, concise menu, and then you knock it out. Mm. Fewer options. Well, they sure did knock it out the park. They sure those, did. Those two tacos so far. It's all our, right. This is our third one. Swiftly moving through, you can tell it's the first meal of the day for us, because mm -hmm. we are hungry. Mushroom, my favor. Your favor. It's a favor. So you get to have the first bite because it is your favor. <laughs> he does love a mushroom. Jones loves his burritos and his mushrooms. Oh, I like what they season, what they season the mushrooms with. Yeah, it, a, it seems like you were surprised. Yeah, it was. It's very natural. Mm 
there's like a tangy sauce on here. Well, it's mm -hmm. not tangy. Yeah, it's kind of tangy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, what kind of cheese is this? It's like a goat. I mean, well, it's I believe vegetarian. It's a queso, if I'm not mistaken. The the taco shells themselves are really good too. I have to say. Oh, go ahead. It kind of tastes like a pizza for me. The taco tastes like a pizza to you? It's because of mushroom in the sauce. It's really good. I'm feeling it. That was that that was a good trio. Thumb thumb. Thumb thumb. That was a good trio of tacos. We got another. Mm -hmm. More to go. Oh, you take it. Mm -mm. Oh, you. <laughs> Man, I don't know what cilantro. Some people call it I got coriander. The Mm -hmm. It's that's one of the best herbs on the earth. <laughs> I don't know why it's so good. I finally got the kick. Really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really nice. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is a meal. Wow. A real meal. So far, winners. All winners. Winners, winners. I think out of those three, though, if I had to pick one favorite, the kale and potato, although I didn't notice a great deal of kale. <laughs> Jones, first again. time on the mic. Say that again. If I were to choose one from this trail, it would have been kale and potato. Oh, it was kale and potato, not sweet potato. Kale and potato? Mm -hmm. I didn't taste as much kale, but the potato was really nice. Yeah. Which one was your favorite out of the three? Was it the egg? That one... I couldn't, I couldn't choose all of them. All of them are good. I don't have a favorite. All of my favorite. Wow. <laughs> but the egg and black bean was nice, but um, that's, you know, the potato was definitely nice. And the uh, mushroom was nice. So it sounds like the East Coast stand up. It's doing its thing. Ah, uh, yeah, you know. Y'all all right. We'll wait till we go thing. to Mexico. This one is the sweet potato, guys. This one here. Sweet First potato. one. potato. Mm-hmm. So I give it a gander. <sighs> Some water. Oh, you go ahead. Mmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Nice big chunks of avocado. Oh. That's good. That's different. Oh, I like it. I feel like I could do this at home. Sweet potato and avocado. Mm -hmm. Never thought about that. Mm-hmm. Let's open up. I'm going to add some berbere. Oh, yeah. That's going to be... With our homemade sour cream and guac. Literally fire. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. With our, with our own homemade sour cream and guac, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. It's flavored, bro. Yeah. All the tacos are really flavored. Yep. Nicely. Really nice. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, I thought I was getting a... My bad. Let me put that back <laughs> in. Taking the taco. She's making a deconstructed taco as we speak. <laughs> really nice. I'm getting full. I know, that's why All I right, keep adding them off to you. <laughs> let's try the other one. What is this one? Okay. This one is the cabbage. And a lot of stuff. Oh, here you, you go. Oh. No, you go first. You've been feeding me. And there's edible fruit. I mean, excuse me, flowers, edible flowers. <laughs> There's flowers on this in this taco. Oh, that's what you were saying. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I, you know, as soon as I taste it, something homey, something familiar. Those are the flowers. Oh, I taste the uh, cumin. Yeah. The cumin with the um, the cabbage. Yeah. This is okay. It's not my favorite. No, it's just... 
Yeah, it's good, but it doesn't beat the other ones we just mm -hmm. had. Agreed. This one I have to go so far. On the good scale, this is the, it's good, but it's not the top good. It's in the good to the last good. We have a scale of one through six. This would be number six. Mm. And that's not a bad thing. It's just everything else outshined it. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, this looks like pumpkin. Egg Roasted pumpkin. acorn squash. Here, take it okay. from this side. I, I got a love hate relationship with egg, with squash. Really? I like yellow squash. Mm, the other squashes, squash. yeah, yeah. No, not mm -hmm. the butternut one. The small mm. yellow zucchini. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my favorite. Then everything else is just like I'll eat it when I have it. Mm -mm. He's so good though. He doesn't complain. He just like he just likes good food that's healthy and clean that tastes nice. I don't know about that. Hmm. That's a really earthy taco. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's ricotta cheese with lemon. I, I tasted something else. Now, I, let me hold my let me hold my uh, thoughts. I spoke to some. Mm. As you eat it, it tastes better. It's become spicy. Mm -hmm. The ricotta and the lemon is different. The um, acorn squash is crunchy. It's not soggy or um, you know mushy. What do you think about it? I like the spices though. Mm -hmm. Different. Not my favorite, that, but different. Okay, that one is number six. Mm. <clears throat> no. For me, this one that, is number five. Really? The acorn. Okay. And the cabbage is six. Okay. So mm. for the tacos, what's your uh, scale on tacos? Okay, we back. The camera overheated because it's sunny. And I then, love the sun, and I'm not even complaining. But we was black. just and we was just directly and the sun. It wasn't even that hot, but these devices—they are fragile. They're not black like us. Black mm -mm. and tough. They can't stand it. So the good news is we had a little bit of a break because we had to reposition and reset. And now we've made more room for uh, uh. By the way, a cool feature we discovered whilst at the restaurant, you can get enchiladas for takeaway. Yeah. Like frozen. They have a uh, a, fro a frozen aisle. Trays. Yeah. Yeah, they have a freezer. You can take these. I, I guess it's these. Mm -hmm. It just says the enchiladas, but it says black bean enchiladas. Black bean, be to, black bean enchiladas. That you get to roast. Excuse me, not roast, but bake. Yeah. At home. You can throw it in the oven. He says to me, "What did you say for like a party or something?" Yeah, you can you can get them for your next party. Because they had them like small, kind of like that size, I think, and then mm. they had like a bigger tray, like a party size tray. So what do we have here? We have black the enchilada, enchilada is, black bean, and mm -hmm. the green rice. Is it cilantro that makes it good? The rice has cilantro mixed up in it, and it's so good. Let's let's get some of this uh, enchilada goodness out of here. It was my idea to get you the enchilada. No, I'm just kidding. Every time she says her idea, you know it's mine. It was his. I was like enchilada. Mm. Why? Oh, there's a spicy. It is? Which one is spicy? That's a lot. It's good. Actually, let me get from... Oh. Well, I'll start out from here. In case I keep one for myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops. This is good enchiladas. I love enchiladas. This is a good one? This is a good one. He's so particular because he's from the West Coast and he swears the West Coast makes better Mexican, but I doubt it. Of course, I'm from... Basically, Mexico. <laughs> mm. Cheesy. Cheesy. Spicy. 
spicy, cheesy, Very. and it's it's uh it's really wet, like it's not dry at all. Like you know, some you have enchiladas where it's just dry. It's not like overly wet. It's not dry. It's just right. Right, and it's even Moist. been sitting for a while because we had to rearrange. So yeah, we had to find another place to park mm. while the camera cooled off. They gave us some uh, some pink onions. <laughs> what are these? Uh, pickled. pickled onions. Most Mexican places have the pickled onions and um, radishes. Pickled onions oh, are like increasingly becoming one of my favorite things to have at the house. For just like yeah, pickled garnishings. onions, pickled ginger. Mm -hmm. Some nice garnish. Mm. It's a nice way to end a meal. This is good. I'm having a Mexican brunch today. We're having a Mexican brunch today. Mm -hmm. And so, so delicious. <clears throat> it reminds me of the name of a song I know. Also titled So Delicious. By who? Ellie. Oh, I thought that came to my mind, but I was like, wait a minute, was that So Delicious? <laughs> so Delicious, So Delicious. And this time, you put in your credits. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cause I know certain, I knew it, I don't know, but somebody told me, I don't think she can cook, but, well, she didn't tell me, but my friend, his girl was from, uh, I can't remember what part of Mexico she was from, but, he said, when she made him Mexican food, he said, <laughs> it was like a soup. If you can imagine enchiladas in a soup. Mm. And he was like, it was so watery. Like I never had them before. And she was like, that's the way we make them where I'm from. So I was like, I ain't never heard of that, but I'm not trying to have soupy enchiladas. <laughs> I like them. I like them, you know, with the lick, you know, with the sauce and liquid, but these are good. How how do you feel? I don't really order enchiladas generally, but I have to say these ones I really like. <clears throat> the only other times I've ever really ordered enchiladas was like, um, remember Chavela's? Yeah. In Crown Heights. Mm -hmm. They're the only ones with their mole sauce. So good. Uh, wait till we go to Mexico. <laughs> We're going next month, so. We're definitely going to have some good eats on, in that video. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm getting full. Let's try the uh, nachos. This is good. I'm going to finish this later. I might have to get me a Modelo beer or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, said, the whole foods. I know. I just thought about it. My mind was kind of craving beer because when I eat Mexican food, automatically I'm having a beer with it. I like said to him, is there anything you want, my love? I'm about to pop in. Nope. I was just thinking about where we're going to park. Here we are. Nachos. Now, imagine what they would have looked like had we actually had them at the shop. Probably even yeah. nicer. Probably they're still better. warm. They, yeah, they're still warm. You're going to um, go in there with pork? I'm just going to go. Might be soft now a little bit. Let's see. Get in there. Get in there, Jones. All right, I'm just going to. I always, when I have a nachos, I always grab a jalapeno first with the nacho. He's African. Who is that? I gotta get some of this stuff. Do you wanna get in there with your fork? What did you do with it? Um, I got a super potato. And some beans. I got my fork right here. You do? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm tasting it. Oh, how did you do that? Here, I'll give it to you. You just pulled off a nice um, piece. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Mmm, this is nice. Nachos are still crunchy. And they mm -hmm. seem homemade. Yeah, they they're not out of a bag. 
No, they are. They're homemade. Homemade nachos. They're not out of a bag. Everything is homemade here. Mm -hmm. So what's the green, the green stuff? Are you sure what it is? I reckon it's guac, no? Mm, I think it's guac. This will make a really nice snack to enjoy over Ready to Love, which I stopped through last night. Mm -hmm. The reunion. Chime in if you have watched this season of Ready to Love in the comment section. Jones and I uh, found it very entertaining. Yeah, I wonder if we have any people who watch Ready to Love. Who are They're just the ready reunion. to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to grab me a nice piece. We got them, we got them fresh, but we had to we had other food to eat. <laughs> we just ate all. Mm -hmm. We just ate all that. If y'all can see, y'all see what I'm doing here. It's really good, guys. I've personally not had nachos in over a year, and I've not had corn also in a year since my detox. Um, I can is, tell you, this is really good. This is a meal in itself. This is a meal. That's why I'm like, let's have this over ready to love. <laughs> this is so good. I never had um, black beans and sweet potatoes together. Mm. And it's a good combination. It works, it works really well. Mm -hmm. Especially with the jalapenos and the, uh, the onions. Mm -hmm. When you eat it all together, getting all those crunches from the veggies and the chips with the cheese. Which are still, like you said, crunchy. Mm hmm Black beans. And then you got a little sweet taste from the sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm feeling it. Mm hmm I'll definitely order these. I can go there and just order these. These actually, I agree with you. I like these even more than the enchilada, to be honest. Um, I can't choose between those two. I would get these and an enchilada. I set you up. You just fell into my trap. What? Because I, I, I didn't say I, I, I didn't select, like it. I selected this and he selected the enchiladas, which means this is mine, the enchiladas are his. <laughs> just kidding. That's how I'm married life. <laughs> okay. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but it tastes a lot better. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. I'm sure the presentation would have been fire had we stayed. <laughs> if we was inside, we would set up a tripod. No, first we have to go to Target. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> they must be stopped. <laughs> if All we right. stayed inside, it would have been, the presentation would have better, been better, but guess what? Outside is calling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Woo. Money. Money. Money, money, money. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with this. Yeah. I'm glad you were open to them. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, I originally had those in mind. And I just was like trying to make sure I just wasn't hungry and just wanted to order everything. But I wanted to try these. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, your highness. You're not sir. Mm. You're not. Okay. Crunchy. All right. So we have all this food. This was a big brunch, and we still we're going home with something to munch on a little yep. later. Loads of that, loads of the enchilada, a couple of bites from the tacos. <clears throat> okay, so now is the time where we do our rating, and we give them. We we gotta we're gonna have some cards next time. So we had two trios of tacos. Mm -hmm. The first trio had um, eggs and black beans and cheese. Um, Potato, potatoes, guac, 
and um, onions, potato guac and onions. It was kale, which we didn't really taste. Okay. I didn't really. So, want to do it overall? Yeah, out All of right. 10. Overall, out of 10, I give it an 8. Hmm. Chaia. Chaia. Do we know what it means? I don't know what it means, but I'm going to look it up. I I'm give it an 8 out of 10. I am going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely go back. And I would definitely get my own nachos and not share them next time. <laughs> so what was your favorite out of this um, that we had for brunch this morning? Hmm. <clears throat> Probably the potato taco was really nice. The enchiladas was really nice. The nachos was really nice. Yeah, those three stood out. The potato taco, the enchiladas, and the nachos. All right. Look for yourself. For me, it was the um, egg and black bean, and then the potato, and then the mushroom. Enchiladas, of course, and the nachos. So, that's my score. Eight out of ten. You're seven out of seven and a half out of seven point five out of ten. And with that, uh, we will definitely be going back to Chaia's. Mm -hmm. um, is it Chaia's restaurant? Chaia. Chaia. We'll definitely be going back. All right, y'all, that's it for this uh, video. Um, like, share, and, su and subscribe. Hit the bell. So, uh, you know, we can get our videos out there because, you know, we struggle streaming right now. <laughs> we having fun. So, um, yeah, head to Ch Chaia's if y'all in the Washington, D.C. area. I think they're somewhere else in the country. Let's hope well, for your sake. <laughs> uh, the, the location in Georgetown is a hit. It is. Until next time, guys, get free and stay free. All right. Stay decent, folks. We out. Da -da 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 -da.